welcome to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. So um, I wanted to show you guys, I washed my hair again last night, so if you haven't seen, I think, I believe it was in my um, last weekly vlog, I dyed my hair purple and had some kind of ups and downs with it. <laughs> washed my hair last night, which was the first time I've washed it since I wa shampooed it with um, clarifying shampoo the night we, or the day after we colored it. And so I just wanted to show you guys kind of how it looks now. It's very, very faint now. It's a super pale, um, pale, pale purple. Like you almost can't tell that there's purple in it. Um, it's especially in the back. The back just looks blonde, like very silvery blonde. But um, I don't know that I love the purple. And so I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. I'm just going to continue to let it fade out. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like after one washing. Like very very pale it really really washed out so anyways um it today is tuesday i don't know if i said that and um i got work today so i think i think i'm just going to chill for the morning obviously i'm hanging out here at home and i'm gonna probably watch some netflix and make some breakfast and then in a little while, a couple hours, I'll start getting ready for work. But I just wanna check in with you guys and get this vlog started for the week. Happy Wednesday, guys. I just got home from work, uh, but I stopped by Walgreens because of my favorite YouTubers. Talked about these zero sugar Starburst um, drink mixes. So I got blue raspberry and all pink because those are like two of my favorite Starburst flavors. The pink is my favorite. So, um, I wanted to try them. She said they're really good. And, um, I haven't really talked about a whole lot on my channel, but I am kind of on a weight loss fitness journey. Um, but these are very low calorie and they're just kind of, she said, um, they just kind of kick that sweet tooth that you got going on. And usually I'm more of a chocolate than a fruity, but honestly, it just sounded really good. And I'm like, there's anything I can have that um, kind of helps my sweet tooth or my cravings is good for me. So I just got my cup here. I'm going to fill it with some ice and try it out with you guys. Don't judge me. I need to unload and reload the dishwasher. So I've got some dishes piled up in this by the sink over here. I'm just using water out of the sink because we don't have a fancy water dispenser on our fridge. And we do have one of the ones with the big bottles, but the bottles are empty right now. I'm doing the all pink, I think they call it. Yeah, all pink strawberry drink mix. Just came in this little packet. Poured it in my drink and I'm gonna mix it up. It smells very fruity. Now, I already put ice in and maybe that's a mistake, but I always like putting my ice in my drinks first because then I know how much to fill it up, right? Right. I just threw a package on the ground. All right, so I, I guess I don't read the instructions, but usually these go in like a 16 ounce bottle of water. So I'd say that's probably about how much water is here. It's a very pretty pink though. I, I like it. Go ahead and have a drink. Ooh, she's right. These do taste just like Starburst. Ooh, these are yummy, like almost dangerously yummy. Wow, there's so much flavor in that. Oh my gosh, guys, these are really good. At least the pink one is. So they had the all pink the blue raspberry and then they had a cherry and like a wild berry or something that one red one that's darker than the regular cherry red kind of a like a maroony kind of color I'd say anyways so good um I recommend them the other thing I wanted to show you guys was this package you guys have been watching my vlogs then you would know um, a couple weeks ago I got a FabFitFun order in the mail and not all of it came. And then the next week 
I got one more box from that order that only had one item in it. Now, this is what the final item came in. I was like, what did I get in this little tiny package? And then I read and it says FabFitFun. So I was like, okay. So the last thing we got in, um, we ordered, which if you didn't watch, my husband order does my FabFitFun for me as a gift. And um, every once in a while he'll go on and purchase things from FabFitFun that don't come in the box. They usually have leftovers and you can buy them uh, from FabFitFun. And so he ordered me a few things and the last thing um, that didn't come in either the two boxes that I got were these teeth whitening pins. They're snap white teeth whitening the pins. There's a, it says a three pack but there's only two in here. I don't really know, but this is what the little thing looks like. And then it has um, some instructions and stuff. Let's go ahead and open them up. Oh yeah, I don't really understand what the three pack means because there's only two little things in here and they're both different. So what do the instructions say? So instructions, twist, remove cap and twist handle several times until gel appears in the brush. Smile, smile wide and apply gel into, onto each tooth. Relax, smile after 60 seconds. Spit out or rinse off with water after five minutes. Do not eat or drink anything except for water for one hour. Refrigerate gel when not in use. Okay. So I'm not gonna put it on right now because I'm obviously I'm gonna be drinking my little pink drink here. This one, the little cap comes off and then you obviously you twist the end, which I'm not going to do because I'm not using it, but it just has a little brush thing here. And then let's see, is this one the same thing? Okay, so one's a big one and one's a little one, which I guess maybe is why they call it, it was supposed to be, I don't know. I don't really understand the whole three pack thing and why these look different but one the thicker one and then the smaller one and they're literally just the same thing with the same little brush. So that is it, that is the final piece of my extras FabFitFun order. Like I said, I just got home so I think now I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner and tonight we are having, I forget what we're having, I have to pull out the recipes and give it to ya. This is funny, the last video that I talked about every plate in, um, we were having um, something very similar, like panko breaded pork chops, and tonight we're having Chipotle Ranch panko chicken. Looks really yummy, and it comes with the ciabatta bun, which I haven't had ciabatta buns in qu quite a while, but it used to be. Actually, it's been years since I had one, but when I lived with my parents, and we did a lot of Costco shopping, they had really good ciabatta bowls, bowls, ciabatta rolls or buns there and we would use those a lot because they're so good. They're so fluffy and they make amazing sandwiches. Um, it looks like tonight we're going to be making garlic bread with it, which sounds delicious. But other than dinner for the rest of the night, I don't have anything going on. My husband is working, so he'll be home in a couple hours, about an hour and a half or so. And um, I'm probably just gonna watch some Netflix or some Disney Plus or something. Also, I just wanted to say I've been wearing a mask all day at work, so like my foundation and my makeup is all rubbed off a little bit, so that's why it looks like that. But all right, guys, dinner time. It's the next day, and I am headed to go get my nails done. They are pretty grown out, and. Um, it's been actually about three and a half weeks and I usually got three weeks but she was gonna be out of town on the day my appointment would have normally been so I am going today usually like actually I guess it's only been like a week and a couple of days I usually go on a Monday or a Tuesday and actually it's usually Tuesday and it's a Thursday so anyways I am headed in to get my nails done I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I'm kind of thinking uh, maybe a really like pale light blue but I don't know we'll see every time I go in I don't really know what I'm gonna do she usually shows me her new ones and then I usually get some inspo from that so anyways I don't know we'll see what I get I'll show you guys when I get out of the salon so I uh, don't think I updated you guys on the nail appointment situation so I get there and they have a sign outside saying please wait outside because of COVID and all that stuff and so I text her let her know hey 
here for my appointment. She texts back with, um, I have you down tomorrow at 11.30. And I was like, okay. So I checked my calendar and I had it down today, but um, I was like, okay. So apparently my annual appointment's tomorrow. So we're gonna go do that tomorrow at 11.30. So I came home. What did I do when I got home? Made breakfast, cause I didn't make breakfast before. And then watched my show, did a little bit of reading, filmed a video and Hence why I look like this. And then made lunch. Now I'm sitting here editing, working on um, tomorrow's video that needs to go up. So um, I've had a really boring day and I guess we'll try again tomorrow to get my nails done. So I think I just talked about in one of my recent videos that um, I go through phases of reading and I haven't really been reading a whole lot the last couple of months like I read in the beginning of quarantine and then kind of fell out of reading and now I'm like I want to get back into reading and I have a whole book a whole book a whole stack of books I want to read so I took one book to work with me this week which was called A Reliable Wife and so far it's really good I'm like maybe a third of the way probably not even quite a third of the way into the book maybe a fourth of the way in and so another book in my pile of books is Life of Pi watched the movie when it came out years ago and I remember really really liking the movie and so I was like oh good you know I like the movie I don't fully remember what the movie is about other than I remember there was a boy trapped in a boat like a dinghy small boat um with like a tiger a hyena a zebra and maybe a monkey or something um but anyway so I started reading this book and I'm having a really hard time getting into it the author goes into a lot of like descriptive words and like I don't know I feel like he rambles on about descriptions to the point where I'm like okay what were we even talking about anymore like it's very word salady and I don't I'm having a hard time getting into it I'm only like um what page am I on I'm on page 21 and these chapters are weird like um so I'll show you they don't, the chapters don't end on like a full page. They're just random. So like here's 14 and 15. Like they're just kind of weird. But so I'm having a hard time getting into this book. Although I was really excited because I remember really liking the movie like so much that I made a post on Facebook about liking the movie. And I honestly don't post on Facebook that often if I do it's usually picture stuff which I mean back in the day which was probably like 2000 it's probably close to 10 years ago I don't know exactly when the movie came out but um you know 10 years ago I posted more on Facebook than I do now but I'm just I don't know I'm having a really hard time getting into the book I'm gonna push through it because like I said I really like the storyline so I'm hoping that I can get through all the word salad and actually get sucked into the book. I'm at the point in the book, you know, I'm not far enough in that anything important has really happened. It's more just like setting up the, uh, it's just setting up the whole story in the background and stuff. So, I don't know. I'm hoping it gets better. I'm hoping it gets easier to read. Let me know if you guys have read The Life of Pi, what you thought about it. Also, my makeup looks very dewy and glowy right now and I kind of love it. My eyes look wild because... I wiped all the eyeshadow off that I had on. All right, guys, I need to get editing. I've been sitting here kind of staring at it, avoiding the editing process for a little bit, and I need to get into it. So here we go. All right, guys, sorry my head's cut off. <laughs> uh, my camera's tilted down a little bit low, but it's take number two for getting my nails done. Um, I have my appointment right <laughs> today. Um, I don't know why I must have clicked on the wrong day when we were putting it into the calendar and then I get reminder texts and stuff but from her but I never look at the date I always just looked at the time because I always go on the same days I usually go on a Tuesday and um, so I never really looked at the uh, the date I just looked at the time so anyways it's Friday now. It's about 11.15 ish and I'm on my way to my appointment. It's at 11.30. I should be there in just a few minutes. Like I think I said earlier in the vlog yesterday, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I will show you guys once I'm done. I just got my nails done. Um, I got this kind of, this, oh, I don't know, kind of Cinderella. -y. Oh, of course it's not going to focus very well. 
kind of a pretty Cinderella-y blue. Um, I actually really like it. It's got a slight shimmer to it. And um, now I am headed over to just actually just a couple blocks down the street to have lunch with a friend. One of my longtime best friends. She had a couple of things in my books actually of mine to return and asked if she wanted to where to meet. And I was like, let's just go to lunch and meet for lunch. So I'm um, headed over there now. I'm actually a few minutes behind because well, my nail lady started a few minutes but she was running a few minutes behind. Not a big deal, you know what happened. So, anyways, I am on my way to meet my friend Taylor for lunch. It's much later in the day now. Well, it's actually really late at night. It's actually almost midnight. No, almost 11 o'clock. Yeah, almost 11 o'clock. After I went to lunch with my friend, her and I hung out and talked in the parking lot after lunch for like over an hour. So we <laughs> spent like two hours together just hanging out, chilling, chit-chatting. It was nice to talk and have, you know, hang out for a while. And then I went to my mom's and did laundry and um, was pretty much there for the whole afternoon and, and evening and now I'm home. And I uh, just sat down on the couch and I think I'm going to watch a little bit of Netflix. I just made myself a pink drink because it's so yummy. I'm slightly addicted to these. I don't think I told you guys, but after I got the blue pink and the blue raspberry, um, I ended up going back and getting the other two flavors, which are fruit punch and cherry. Haven't tried cherry yet. The fruit punch just tastes like everything else fruit punch, but I really like the pink one so far. Anyways, um, like I said, I think I'm just going to chill here with my pink drink and watch maybe some Netflix or some YouTube for a while and then probably go to bed in a little bit. Good morning guys. Um, I look crazy, I know. Literally just got out of bed. I've been awake for probably close to an hour but I just hadn't gotten out of bed yet. I just didn't want to get out of bed. <laughs> um, but now I'm up and about and I'd like to go sit on the couch but my house has gotten messy this week and so I um, I need to do some cleaning. <laughs> I know if I sit down, I won't get the cleaning done. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, picking up. I need to do some dishes. Honestly, probably about two loads that need to be done. I did a candlelit dinner for my husband and I a few, well not last night, but the night before. And as you can see, all the candles and flowers and everything are out that need to get put away. And um, I think I'm also gonna make myself some breakfast. So I just thought I would check in with you guys this morning. I've been just very low energy today, so I haven't really filmed other than this morning. Um, but it's almost seven o'clock now and I kind of just need to start uh, getting this video ready to go up tomorrow. So I think I'm just gonna close the video out here. So sorry this wasn't a very long or exciting vlog. Um, I've just had a really laid back week and today, um, just haven't really had the energy or the want to do anything. So I'm um, really sorry. I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. Hopefully next week's vlog will be a little bit longer for you. Um, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.